hello beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for the love the maximum support i just can't thank you enough so my beautiful people today i have come again you trust progress the analyst no leave no transfer i will give it to you back to back i will give it to you the way you want it <laughs> This is, this is pure illegality. It's supposed to be a problem for us. Yes. Oh, it's, ah, oh, ah. Long time. Oh, one day. Oh, long back phone when you make one. Man, you don't get right to this six people's phone. You should know that. I don't have right back. To six people's no, phone. You, I'm teaching well, you your You don't have any right to be teaching people's phones. You know, you know, I will seize that phone. You know, peace. You know, any video, you will seize that phone. You will lose your job. Let's see. You have no right to be seizing people's phones. Video me, let me seize that phone. Let me tell you. I have no right to be seizing people's phones. Video me, I will seize that phone. But I want to assure all the Africans everywhere the work goes on. The cause endures. The hope still lives. The dream never dies. We will continue to persist, inspired by Nandi Kanu's greatness in confronting just staggering pain, suffering, etc., for the cause of so many, the living and those yet to be born. And we are confident that justice ultimately will prevail. It may be late, but I think that everyone should tremble when they recognize that God is just and his justice will not sleep forever. So we have a new, renewed bail hearing scheduled for March 19th. Uh, we're guardedly optimistic it will turn out positively for everyone because the rule of law, which is what is at stake here, benefits every Nigerian, not just one group, not just Hausa, Falani, Yoruba, Biafrans, Ibos. The rule of law benefits everyone and that's what this struggle is about. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Let me come back. I said, I'm going to tell you like that. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, uh, Barista uh, Nameke Jofo. So, this is one of our. Uh... But I want to assure all the Africans everywhere. The work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, the dream never dies. We will continue to persist, inspired by Nandi Kanu's greatness in confronting just staggering pain, suffering, etc., for the cause of so many, the living and those yet to be born. And we are confident that justice ultimately will prevail. It may be late, but I think that everyone should tremble when they recognize that God is just and his justice will not sleep forever. So we have a new, renewed bail hearing scheduled for March 19th. Uh, we're guardedly optimistic it will turn out positively for everyone because the rule of law, which is what is at stake here, benefits every Nigerian, not just one group, not just Hausa, Falani, Yoruba, Biafrans, Ibos. The rule of law benefits everyone, and that's what this struggle is about. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, I said I'm going to tell you that. Thank you once again. Uh, Barista uh, Nameke Jofo. So this is one of our uh, legal luminaries for IPOB and Namdekano. Okay, so uh, Barista, please, in summary, what transpired today in court? Well, thank you very much. Uh, what happened today in court was the bail application we filed was moved. We urged uh, his lawsuit to release Namdekano as directed by the Supreme Court. And uh, we also, in the course of moving the application, urged my lord to be guided and persuaded by the judgments of other high courts, uh, especially the high court in Omar here and the high courts at um, uh, uh, Enugu, where bills, where the issues of his uh, living Nigeria was adequately canvassed and discussed. And uh, we know that in those courts, 
the courts held that Nnamdi did not jump bail, but rather was chased away from Nigeria by the Nigerian armed forces when they went to uh, uh, terminate his life in his house in Afaru. Uh, the, the, the prosecution, on the other hand, uh, challenged the issue of bail, claiming that he jumped bail, but obviously uh, the Supreme Court had taken care of that. The Supreme Court said in their judgment of uh, December 15, 2023, that Tunande did not jump bail, but rather had to escape for the safety of his life and well-being, and that nobody should have uh, 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 revoked his bail in the first place, you know? So we thank God that today we were able to move that application. We were actually hoping also that we were going to have a ruling today, but eventually uh, his lordship was the opinion that uh, bail that they really had to wait until the 19th of March 2024, by which time she would have made up her mind whether to grant bail or not, or the conditions to attack the bail if granted. We're also looking forward to the hearing. Yes, uh, she had directed the prosecution to file their witness statement on oath from any from the witnesses they have and serve on us timelessly so that we can prepare for our defense and cross-examination. So we're looking forward to a robust 19th of March, you know, when they will present whatever witness they have and then we can also uh, challenge those witnesses with our questions to determine the veracity or otherwise of what they are going to say. So that is uh, precisely what happened today and uh, what we expect to happen in the nearest future. Today on the 19th of March, 2024. Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, please, uh, please, barrister, the public um, has been in the law regarding uh, Mazaro Nambi. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, well, from the medical reports made available to us, which we filed in court, uh, his health is not too wonderful. He needs proper medical attention. And it's obvious that in the DSS facility where he's detained, there is no, uh, they do not have the capacity or the, the uh, enough facility to handle the situation, his uh, health condition. You know, you can imagine a situation where uh, samples of his blood have been taken over 25 times, you know, and yet, there is no cure in sight. So we, and then we have also brought in an independent medical practitioner who also examined him and had come up with the conclusion that the situation he's having right now can lead to heart failure. And we know that uh, DSS uh, may not be able to have the facility to treat such conditions. You, you might even find it difficult to have it in the state house. You remember in the state house some time ago, the former first lady said it, they don't even have syringes. That is the, 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 the clinic of the president. They don't have paracetamol. They don't have, paracetamol. They don't have syringes. So you can imagine them bringing an issue of heart before such facilities. So we do not think they have the facility to take care of him health-wise. Otherwise, they would have done it. We also believe they do not have the facility to, uh, to even manage it. You know, such deaths can come gradually. It can come gradually. And that is what I think we are, we are experiencing, OK? But we are looking forward to a situation where this court can grant bail, then he can look for a good medical hospital that will handle his health condition and treat him, not just manage the treating. So my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do where to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you and bye-bye.